and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for an old favorite. We got Karma Lux Control, got a donation deck to try out this deck. Used to be a pretty popular one, but has been hit with lots and lots of nerfs. We were just discussing it. We had eight cards nerfed in this deck um, uh, that that have been nerfed. Um, you know, like we let's, let's see. So we had Badger Bear. Um, Shadow Assassin is being replaced by Vanguard Sergeant because it was nerfed. Deny, Grizzled Ranger, Deep Meditation, um, Will of Ionia, Back to Back, Karma, and Unyielding Spirit. Nine. Nine cards <laughs> in the deck nerfed. Pretty crazy, but um, but yeah, it's still super, super powerful, especially if you can survive and get to a late game setup where you have like leveled up Karma in play with Lux, you get to do some awesome stuff, you know, like creating multiple final sparks, um, you know, with like the spells that, that you're casting and, and each final, well, each final spark being two because you, you know, you double up your, your final sparks. Um, pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, so let's let's give this a try. Let's see if we are able to survive. We're going to be trying to have Remembrance early on on turn three most of the time. There's not a lot of like super hyper aggro decks right now, which which kind of means like maybe it's a good time to be playing Karma Lux because the meta game is actually kind of slow. Um, I say that and it looks like we're playing against a, a Neverglade Collector burn deck, maybe. We don't need to just start at turn five. Do you have a bunch of health potions in here to help us stay alive as well? Badger Bear is going to be kind of an interesting one of like seeing is Badger Bear better than Laurent Protégé? Like is 3-4 better than 2-4 Challenger? That's something to be thinking about while we're playing at 3-4. Um, you know, obviously the 3-4 can trade with a lot of different things. The 2-4 can't. The 2-4 can force... Can, like, you know, force an attack. Uh, you know, force a block, I mean. And um, you can also kind of suicide in the challenger unit to turn on Radiant Guardian. Like, that's something you can do, too. Well, we drew Remembrance for turn three. So things are going according to plan. Ooh, we got the Scout Moose. Scooter the Moose. This Health Potion could be pretty good at just healing the Moose also. They block a couple of times with it. They block it a couple of times, I mean. Yeah, Kid is the best guardian. I've always been a fun guy. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. All right, that's big getting Puff Cat Peddler out of here. So this is not the aggro deck I was thinking it would be. It's a little risky going for single combat to kill Teemo because if they have removal and response, okay, well. Not so risky going for single combat anymore.
I'm just gonna attack. I'm just gonna attack normally. Instead of just like attack the one time they they block the the moose. Let's just attack. So back to back would deal 14 damage to them, put them down to six. Or I do just three less damage and keep a three, four alive. We'll do that, we'll keep the three, four alive. Put him down to nine instead of six. But then we have a three three. Return to us. Probably just gonna bounce this rekindler so it's not a blocker. Awesome. All right, Karma Lux control, one and zero. Oh. One and O. Oh. GG's. How are the sounds? Um, you know, like my, like just, like whenever we get in the game, you know, my level, the gameplay level, um, you know, the, the mic sounds, how's everything? Hopefully it's still good. Yay, Choo Choo says the sound is perfect. All right, great. So yeah, my overall, my overall video will be a little quieter than it was before, but hopefully, like, you know, because I, I changed the gain on the mic and then lowered the volume here to compensate, but that means that like the overall, the YouTube video volume will be a little bit lower. But hopefully the better sound quality, it's worth it. Um, Callista Elise. So none of them. Been seeing a lot of Callista Elise today. I didn't play this first and it just got challenged by those two ones. Alright, so now I, I will be able to back to back this next turn. I know what lurks in the shadows. And this Callisto Elise deck has been looking great whenever we've been playing against it. They've just had 
this is the third time today, and they've had awesome hands all three times. It's been looking great. Five. Yeah, it's true that health potion will help protect us against atrocity. If this combat happens just like this and Mage Seeker Persuader survives, then next turn I can attack and challenge with Mage Seeker Persuader kill something let it die play Radiant Guardian That's the plan. I'm glad glad we have concerted strike to be able to strike with Radiant Guardian. That's a good one too. Okay, an 8-8. Eight, eight. Alright, so that's going to be 5 mana. I, looks like I don't get to do anything else besides just Concerted Strike. You know, and then Health Potion. So I, I don't get to play Karma or Deep Meditation. has to work. I don't want to use the health potion now, but I kind of feel like I should just because then it'll make these deep meditations cost three mana. Looks like Fury of the North. So I should probably stun. Deny a lot, so that's good against Atrocity. Little Vionia is not bad either. These cards are a little expensive. But they are powerful. I will end 
Who's this here? I want to just play Lux. We can do this. Yeah, Radiant Guardian. Certainly the reason why we're likely going to win this game. Radiant Guardian put in tons of work. I don't know how scared of level up Callista I should be. I don't think very scared. You will be scoured from this land. I think gaining five life is a reasonable way to let them have Callista leveled up. Wow, they didn't block with Omen Hawk. I thought for sure Omen Hawk was going to just block and level up Callista. All right, this one looks like it's going to be in our favor. Um... So that's four mana towards Lux. Steel Tempest is really nice. Alright, so we stun that thing. We block and kill this. Back the darkness. And Cannot win. Just throw that thing in front. It is true, it could have double judgment. So they who endure is only like a 1-1 one -one as far as uh, Callista is concerned. Try that there to do the 16 damage to kill me. I guess I should have blocked with this so I could have recalled the other thing. Oh well. Hey Cabo, hope your lunch was good. Collect your thoughts. 
We're just doing this just to go for the win. We have deny backup. And they have no blockers. I guess I could have played the Vanguard Sergeant also. Yeah, Radiant Guardian basically single-handedly won us that game. That shows you the power of our deck for sure. Our deck looked great there because they had an awesome hand. And Radiant Guardian just carried us to, to have a bunch of life and got us to their late game. And then Karma and Lux took over. So how do we do against the best deck in the format with Frostbite Midrange? I don't know if this is honestly that good of a Radiant Guardian matchup because of the Frostbite stuff. Oh, they have like a fancy kit. Oh, sorry opponent. <laughs> Waiting on me. It's a great card against me. Wish we had, like, you know, we just don't have, like, one damage removal. So that's a great card against me. Perfect. Vanguard Cavalry is the best card we could get. Patience. Cuss of Palm. Cavalry to the field. Let's go, Cavalry. Before they play their one mana five five. Basically looking at Culling Strike and Reckoning as like our things that we could deny. Virtue guides me. I need just a moment. If they just played a 5-5 five, five and a 5-1, it only cost them 3 mana. <laughs> yeah, you know, they still have all this spell mana available. Oh dang, that's good. Carved from the savage cold. That's pretty good. Mages can't hide from me. Yeah, I don't I don't know if even back to back is like, I can't really just play back-to-back because -back it's just lethal, right? Like, it's 15... Like, back-to-back -back is me taking 15 damage. All these things are so large and efficient. Yeah, so I have to go Concussive Palm, and so I'm combining Mage Seeker Persuader with Concussive Palm. Together. Um. Wait, that doesn't even kill my Radiant Guardian. Gosh, 
Percent 20 is so good. Oh, man. I mean, I can't safely attack because Sejuani. I mean, I guess it doesn't like kill ours, but. Leave no survivors. This game shows you how ridiculously good Frostbite midrange is. Their deck is just silly. This this game really shows you how good their deck is. Burst speed. Can't deny anything. Sejuani is just the best card in the game, and then they have all that other stuff also. Like, it's the best individual card. Alright, so this looks like Discard Deep, the deck that we're going to play up next. Uh, I don't think I want to keep Deny. I was basically thinking, do I want to keep Deny? Actually, Unyielding Spirit. Unyielding Spirit could actually be awesome. I do have Obliterate Fish. As far as Unyielding Spirit goes. Or Nautilus and then Riptide. So maybe not. Um... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, how to nerf that deck is, is kind of tough. I mean, basically all the spells could be more expensive. Like, all the spells... Like, when you compare them with, like, the other region spells, like, they're all super cheap. Um, you know, Brill Steel, Elixir of Iron, Harsh Winds. You know, like, Harsh Winds could be seven. You know, like, all like that kind of stuff. Like, all those could cost more. Trifarian Assessor could, could cost six instead of five. You know, like, that, that could go down a mana. You know, I, I guess... It's like that kind of stuff could be nerfed. Sejuani could could certainly be really good as still like a 4-5 instead of a 5-6. Um, even if they make Sejuani a 5-5 five five so it, it matches up with all the other 5-5s five in the format. Sejuani kind of being a 5-6 on her own with everything else is... And then of course with Freljord. Freljord also just pumps up um, things very easily anyway, so so Sejuani's frequently 6-7 more often than not. Um, and then, you know, sometimes 7-8 or 8-9. Assessor, Assessor could just be draw a card if you have something with 5 or greater. That could be something they do with Assessor. It's just... You know, like singular. It just checks if you have a unit power five or greater, draw a card. Just kind of spitballing ideas.
So then, yeah, so then it still, still would be like a 4-mana four 4-3 four, draw card. Which is a reason. Like, that sounds pretty reasonable. I kind of think I want to go Karma next turn instead of Radiant Guardian. Not sure though. George! We have had very good Remembrance plays. Yes, we have. Vanguard Cavalry is just frequently the card that you really want to draw. Maybe not karma. Virtue guides me. They were like, do not play karma. I have a jaw hunters. Oh, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> hey, catch up, boy. This this game is amazing. Yeah, you haven't tried it out, Runeterra yet. Definitely recommend. It has it has everything. It's like every single game is really fun, competitive, even. Told me about this one. And uh, it's it's available on mobile. It's also very very free to play friendly. Most people don't spend any money on the cards. They spend money on like different cosmetics. If you want. It has the best setup and best gameplay. So. It compares very favorably to Hearthstone and Arena. Um, that thing's a 10 8. 10 8's pretty big. The Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Yeah, meta is also awesome. Very even. Your attack is obvious. Yeah, no. Yep, yep. Uh, so that's so this game. So, uh. It's not like I have turn one, they have turn two, kind of thing like that. It's actually just, it's turn one, you both play stuff. So so it's super even because like they play their one mana creature, then you play your one mana creature, and so on. It's like right now this is turn eight. Um, we can both play creatures back and forth and just, it's just one person has the attack token each turn. So like I'm the attacker. So I could just go and attack or I can play stuff. You know, it's just like, just like with magic, like you can go to combat. It's like first main phase, basically. Or you can play stuff. For us here, I am going to be playing stuff. But now, so I played a unit. Now it's their, now their priority. They can, you know, like you just move priorities back and forth. So now they play a unit. And so it makes it so much more even. It doesn't matter if you attack first or second. It doesn't really matter. This... This has Challenger, so I can tell them to block however I want. Yeah, so it's great gameplay. Yeah, next expansion. Oh, no! Dude Dredgers. Uh, yeah, they got this. Um. Justice will be 
be served. Um, it's it's more like empty. It's em blocking. Blocking is like MTG. Uh, you know, like you you attack the opponent, they get to choose who to block. There's just there is a mechanic that that last creature that I had had that the is challenger, and if you have that, you you can force somebody to block it. It's, um. So let's see. All right, so I don't need to have deny this turn. So I can have four Demacia and back to back. So I can kill these shipwreck hoarders and not have my things die. But yeah, everything it kind of attacks in rows, and so everything can only you can only single block, but then things like this was a 10-8, but this took three damage before, so things don't regenerate health. Um, so like this is a 10-5 now, it has five health. You know, before it had it had it was a 10-8, so you can only single block anything, you can't double block, but then things don't regenerate health. And damage happens to left to right, so like there's there's also a lot of um Yeah, I mean, we're just not going to be winning this. Uh, that's okay. There's also a lot of um, strategy. I can't really play Karma because I play Karma, they attack out, I lose everything. There's a lot of strategy of like where you place your attackers left to right because damage happens left to right. There's even more strategy that way. You will feast soon enough. Yeah, I mean, they just have this. I need to use back to back on defense. I can't use it right now. Discipline and steal. Together at last. All right, at least that Devourer Depths got obliterated. That's good. I'm using deny on necessarily die. See, look at that. Not dying.
Um, Banish the unworthy. Six cards left. have to kind of have Will of Ionia for Nautilus if they do have another Nautilus in the cast Riptide. And I think I have to just let them have this and hope they just get all units. I don't think I can use a deny on that. They get four cards. I just got to hope they're all units. You can only go six wide in this game. That's true. They do have three more treasure cards. That was the first of th of six. They've had three shipwreck orders. Down to three. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. just blocking with the moose as you see there because I gained the 11 life so I went back up to 18 blocking blocking the nautilus with the moose only game would only gain me two life and there's just probably going to be a better time to be able to use that than just gain two life no 
Because I still had a, a bunch of mana. I couldn't... I needed to keep Deny and Will of Ionia up. I couldn't play Radiant Guardian. Now I'm really worried about more Nautiluses. Uh, tucking Karma. Looks like it's three cards. Hopefully they aren't any good. I like seeing that and not Riptide. Not a good treasure, it looks like. Got two cards left. Two cards is about to be three. Not you know they'll shuffle Nautilus back in. I fight for the fallen. I'm hoping that maybe, oh maybe these abyssal eyes mill them out. I don't know. I don't have like a great plan. <laughs> Attack with these things. Stay back. Hmm. Not sure about this back to back. I don't know. I will end this here. Hold back the darkness. I guess so. Put us back to a nice twenty.
So many treasures. Now, I can't use single combat yet. We have to use single combat to keep them from putting a card back with the Nautilus. And like I think that's the only way that I can get them to accidentally mill themselves. I kind of wish I didn't play the back-to-back. So many treasures. It's Nexus Strike draw one? Why can't it just be like regular Strike draw one? Yeah, they just got one card left. I, that's why I need to get rid of this barrier for Lux. That was the problem with Lux with the barrier. Need to get rid of that barrier. I have two cards again. Dang, they didn't make any mistakes. We made that much more of a game than I thought that we would. Yeah, we made that much more of a game than I thought we would. Ugh. They only would have just attacked with those those things and drawn cards. Drawn some more cards. Yeah, they played it well. They did play it well. And we're facing the traditional deep deck. Which I think will be easier than that deep deck. I think that, that previous deep deck is a better deck. Um, I think I just replace all these. I don't really... I don't really, I'm not really thrilled by any of those cards, but besides Remembrance, I don't really know what else I'd be thrilled about with this matchup. Hey, Forks. Thank you so much. Keeping that Twitch Prime sub going for 10 awesome months. Now, I really appreciate that, Forks. You're amazing. So that's going to be sub number two on the day. We had Forks, not Fox, and Cat in a Jetpack. I don't know, I guess. Wrangler! TGIF, that's right. Thank you, Rankler. I will tend this garden. Oh, Deep's a bad matchup for us? typo here, like it, it's glitched out. Spacebar, there we go. I'm certainly looking forward to, I'm really looking forward to the next deck that we're about to play, Discard Deep, that's the one that, that's the newest of the decks. Um, as far as the one, 
Uh, favorite of the ones we've played so far, probably Garen Draven. That's that's definitely the deck that's kind of up my alley. Uh. Everywhere I go, the light follows. I don't know, maybe this should just be Karma, creating some spells. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. For justice and all things bright. They vile feast, remove the barrier, block with the 4-1. That doesn't sound like anything I really want. Yeah, it's gonna be like a discard deep deck. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Should be a lot of fun. Let's go with. Find, stun. Oh, awesome, Forex. Starting up school again, so you're going to have some more time to watch the streams. Are you... Are you going to be, like... Uh, like... Is it, like, online school? Or are you going into actual classes? See, so if they want to waste their 10 mana... Oh, I should play Karma. Why? Why do I never play Karma? Why do I never play Karma? So you're almost at 10,000 channel points. So do you think Bilgewater, Harrowing, Fearsome, Harrowing, or Teemo, Misfortune, Burn? Bilgewater, Harrowing is not one that I've played. The other two I've played and played kind of recently. So I would vote for... I would vote for that. I would vote for the... Um, Bilgewater, Harrowing. I've been, I've been kind of careful of keeping deny available whenever they'd have like vengeance, you know, like whenever they have like vengeance mana for Lux. Uh, I don't want to deny that, but that's that's a Maokai. Wait, did they have something else die this turn? Yeah, they had the one four die, so it's 50 50 shot of a one four or a Maokai. All right, come on, 1-4. No, wrong 1-4. No.
challenging locks. Interesting. Stay back. Unexpected. I see every I expected them to challenge the 3 2 because I don't want to block with Lux on either of these or Radiant Guardian. Like, I wouldn't want Radiant Guardian or Lux to block either of those. I definitely expected them to challenge the 3 2. Like, are they sitting on Grasp the Undying? I don't want to play Karma and have it die to Grasp the Undying. Like, that's the nightmare. Justice Guess I'll just play this Radiant found. Guardian. Even though it means I don't have a deny if they have something that does 4 damage. I'll be sad. Alright, so Health Potion levels up Lux now, because Health Potion is 2 mana. Alright, well they just eliminated my deck, and I don't, I don't have... Or wait, so I do have another Karma in hand, right? Yes, I have another Karma in hand. Okay, never mind, we're perfect. That was a perfect draw then, drawing the Karma. So we're fine. So even though, even though health potion basically does nothing, but I still want to just play it just to level up. Lux with that. Um. I don't know, maybe I need to be going after Nautilus. Two sparks. Banish the unworthy. So if I target these both at Nautilus, that's three, six, nine, twelve. We do twelve damage to Nautilus. Which almost kills Nautilus. Um We'll kill Maokai and, uh, I don't know, I guess Shipwreck Hoarder instead. So they're at 10 cards, I'm at 4. Still have deny for protection. You will feast soon enough. Last 
that puts two more Karmas back into the deck. Um, looks like Deny is the best card to play. I still have Concussive Palm. That's unfortunate using a deny here. Yeah, because of that. Dang, why does Will of Ionia have to cost five mana? Why can't it cost four? Um. Well, we'll palm that and get another final spark that way. Hey, Blubsters. All right, so one Lux left in the deck, two Karmas. We know they have a Nautilus in theirs. I mean, well, we know we have they have like the other Nautiluses in Maokai's. Oh no. I don't have the one mana for Ranger's result. Dang. Jaw Hunter just created another Devourer of the Depths? That must be nice. They just get to play Devourer and Devourer and um, Riptide and Jaw Hunters. That must be nice. Sounds good, Cabo. So problem with playing Lux immediately is atrocity. Kind of need Will of Ionia available to protect against atrocity. Two of those four cards are karmas. Your attack is obvious. Hold back the darkness. <laughs> yeah, the infinite devourers kind of rough. So they have atrocity, I just lose. Oh well. I mean, I can't. I can't. Yeah. I guess they have it, I lose. GG's. There's always a light in the darkness. That was rough, especially that that Jaw Hunter is creating Devourer. That was rough. So four Devourers there in just a couple of turns. All right, so I ended up with a two and three. Definitely saw the power of Karma and Lux together. It's just don't have the best interaction with this kind of deck. That's really where you struggle is is uh, with that.
kind of interaction and just cheaper things you know it's just so many times it's just like i wish our spells cost a little bit less you know like our will of ionia costing five really hurts a lot it does, you know, like now with like that costing five, karma costing six. Before you used to be able to play karma for five mana and have Will of Ionia for four and have Deny for four all in one turn. And now can't do that at all. Um, yeah, that's kind of about it. Lots of powerful stuff, but uh, it's this deck's taken a bunch of hits from the nerfs. Um, Still pretty interesting one to play, and yeah, thanks, Voxel. Um, yeah, hopefully that was fun to watch. That's what uh, chat says. Well played. That was fun to watch. Uh, yeah, I feel like we played the last two games very well. It's just, uh, you know, those deep cards are, are awesome. Whenever they're, you know, seven sevens that devour cost two mana, you know, like, what are you going to do? Like, that, that's just pretty silly, the stuff that Nautilus and the deep cards get to do. Um... Anyway, we're gonna be playing some. Uh, we're gonna be playing that deep deck now with our discard deep. Those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and hope you uh, enjoyed watching the video. Leave those comments. Uh, I would appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Karma Lux Control, and I'll see you for the next video.